Sheriff deputy, that's him, they call him Cody. Cody decided to take the sheriff's office credit card and start paying off his personal bills. Well, Cody is now in the same jail that he used to be an officer at. Let me give you some background, this is in Floyd County, Georgia, all right? Floyd County Sheriff's Office deputies behind bars after being charged with improperly using department funds to, uh, to pay personal bills. Now I want you to see that face, now keep that face up there. See that guy, Cody Waters, Sergeant, 24 years of age, ready to serve and to defund the police. You see, that guy is defunding the cops, okay? All right, uh, he's been charged with theft by taking financial transaction card fraud and violation of oath of office. Let me also give you some insight about his charges. They actually do plan to do something with him. I'm talking about the prosecutorial dynamic involved in his arrest. Here's how you know it, and I've been covering these stories for years now. Anytime a cop typically, nine times out of 10, when a police officer is charged, with violation of oath of office in addition to the other charges they're serious about prosecuting. When you do not see that charge and a cop is charged with other things and you do not see violation of oath of office, that means there's a fix somewhere. They are trying to figure out a way to let them go. They are trying to give them a way out because violation of oath of office is such a broad charge. It almost guarantees there will be a conviction and that conviction, even if it's only the violation of oath of office, will mandate that person can never be hired as a cop again. So I want you to always peep that when you see the charge docket of a cop. According to the arrest warrant, Sergeant Waters had control over the Floyd County Sheriff's Office Drug Awareness and Education Fund for the children. And was the only person with access to the debit card associated with the account. The arrest warrant goes on to say that Sergeant Waters used the debit card to pay his Georgia Power Bill. Now in his defense, that damn Georgia Power Bill is serious in this state, <laughs> okay? Doesn't excuse what he's, what he's done here, right? The warrants don't clarify the amount of money taken from the account. That means it was probably a lot. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation conducted an investigation after the sheriff's office noticed some account irregularities during an audit, all right? Well, the sheriff of that county, the elected sheriff, he spoke out immediately, handled it, handled it quickly. He did not wait for an investigation, they locked his ass up. Here's the sheriff taking a picture with Shaquille O'Neal, that's the big homie Shaq. So the sheriff, his name is Dave Robertson. Floyd County Sheriff, elected guy, he said, and I quote, we are extremely disappointed that this occurred within our agency. However, these actions cannot and will not be tolerated by anyone that represents our agency. We hold and will continue to hold our employees to the highest standards. Our office will continue to be transparent and accountable to the citizens of Floyd County, Sheriff Robertson said. Our Sergeant Waters is currently being held in the Floyd County Jail. You gotta imagine those conversations. Now remember, he's a sergeant. He's a 24 year old sergeant. That means he's a supervising cop. He has command, he's a supervisor. So now he is literally in the same jail that he supervised other deputies at. This also speaks to another dynamic. If you're willing to be this criminal and this corrupt and this privileged, what other privileges have you taken in the context of corruption and criminality? Have you lied on the police report? I would assume you have. Have you manipulated data? I would assume you have. You definitely have the capacity in my opinion. So what is it here? There's a culture issue, he felt comfortable. And here's another dynamic, he's a government worker. Typically government workers do not get full access to a credit card. That's just 100, they stopped that a few years ago, but he does. Why? And it took them a while to figure this out because the check and balance was not there available in real time. It took a minute, they had to look at the books and then do an audit and then they found out what he actually did. Attorney thoughts here. 
No, it's funny. I thought you were gonna bring up like negligent hiring, the fact that they brought this guy <laughs> on. Like it's like this is a you issue. Come on. And it's interesting because we have these conversations about when there are officers on the force who abuse individuals, violate civil rights. You always think you knew this when you hired him, you knew this about them, or you didn't do your due diligence when you looked up his background or even just did a psychological exam. And here it just it really goes to the point of maybe you need to vet people a little bit better. Because not only does poor vetting of officers end up with losing public confidence, individual civil rights being violated, but also clearly your own rights being violated and you being hurt directly by their criminality. So hopefully this encourages that department to maybe do a little bit more before they slap someone with a badge and a gun. And gave him an actual supervising role. He was a whole what we call three stripes in the hood. This man was a sergeant, all right? That means he passed the sergeant's exam, which includes a psychological evaluation typically. Maybe he was able to bypass, the sheriffs have the authority to bypass those exams, police chiefs do not.